The E. coli test is ran using a 3M product called Petri Film. Uh, the Petri Film is basically a dehydrated Petri plate that selects for coliform bacteria and has color indicators for normal soil coliform bacteria and E. coli bacteria. In order to run this test, remove one of the plates from the bag and have a sterile pipette, one milliliter, to pipette your water onto the plate. Before you put your sample on the plate, label it across the top, either using a ballpoint pen or a permanent marker, with where the sample is from and the date that you do the test in order to keep track of how many days to wait before reading it. So you have your labeled sample. Then, opening from the top of the pipette, peel it down like a Band-Aid. Remove it from the wrapper, being careful not to touch the tip on any other surface or with your fingers to prevent possible contamination. The one milliliter mark is right below the bulb of the pipette. So you pull your sample, pipette up one milliliter of water, then lift the top layer of the plate and gently squeeze out the sample onto the plate being careful not to touch the tip of the pipette to the plate as it's a very thin layer of auger and you can scratch it off. Then gently roll the top layer back down on the plate and if the water sample doesn't completely cover the area of the plate you can gently rock it from side to side in order to more fully cover it with your sample solution. Then allow it to lay flat for approximately two minutes and the auger will solidify or gel up. After that, you can stack the samples or move them around. They're, they're okay to tip from side to side. You don't want to tip them right now because your water sample would run off of the plate. These will develop at room temperature in approximately 48 to 72 hours, depending on how warm it is. You'll put it in a plastic bag to prevent it from drying out, and then put that plastic bag somewhere warm away from direct sunlight. Top of the refrigerator works fairly well. If you have an incubator, you can simply set the plates in the incubator and wait 24 hours and then read your results. The incubator should be set at warm body temperature, approximately 90 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. This first plate is an example of one in which there are no bacteria growing, either soil coliform, which show up as pink dots, or E. coli, which show up as blue dots. The second photo, the second Petri slide, is of a pond which contained eight E. coli colonies. These are the blue or dark purple appearing dots on the slide. The soil coliform are the pink dots on the slide which are normally found in any surface water. It merely indicates that soil is in the water. Since we are culturing live bacteria in this test, it's a good idea to put a bleach solution and kill the bacteria before disposing of the plates. So put your plates in a plastic bag and then add either at least a 10% Clorox solution. This one I made up as a 50%. Squirt some in the bag. and then seal the bag
and drop it in the trash.